Welcome everyone to another UVision tutorial on how to take your plan, your 2D plan as we have here, into looking more like a CAD plan so that you can add dimensions and easily read them. It's actually quite an easy process, so let me start with the plant material. Simply click on any plant and then push the letter L on your keyboard which will highlight all of the similar item. Notice all three plants are now highlighted. Once that's been done, go over to the right hand side, upper right, where it says symbol. And in this case, we're going to check off this symbol and the CAD will appear here on the plan. We can continue to do that, the same for all plants. Make sure you push L in case there's more. And we're going to turn off that default symbol. Now if the default symbol happens to look like this, click on it, go over to the CAD menu, and pick any other style that you want to use in your plan. So in our case here, I will use this plant, this one right here. Now I will go over to these small guys over here and push L. Now they are all highlighted. I'll go over to Symbol, use Default Symbol, and we'll go over to CAD here, and we'll use a small one such as this. Okay, now that we've got them all in the plan, they're still hard to see because of the background material on the beds. So once again, highlight the beds, push L, then do Custom Appearance in Plan, click on it, and then instead of this brown mulch, go over to Color Washes, and scroll down until you hit just the plain white uh, tile. Here we are. Or you could use a, a mild gray if you want to. We might as well use this as sort of a soft gray. Click OK. Now the beds are in a soft gray. I still have some plant material here, I noticed. So we're going to change those. Push L, click Symbol, and we can double click our CAD menu, and we will put in another one here. It looks a bit like this one. So now we've got those in the plan. Okay, and we have one more small plant to be done here. We'll highlight it and push L, go over to Symbol, use Default Symbol, and when you get one like this where it's all colored in, you simply go in to this menu, click on the upper left to CAD, and select another symbol. So we'll select this one right here. Now we've got those in. So now all of our plants have been replaced with CAD ones. Now if there are some that are more dominant in their weight and you want to make them less dominant, I'll highlight this as an example. You simply highlight that, go onto your symbol tab, and where it says transparency, if you notice I can make it totally disappear or give it a bit of a lighter tone, which sometimes can be a little bit more pleasing to the eye especially if you have lines running through it for measurements and so on. Now that takes care of the softscape. The hardscape is just as easy simply by clicking on the paved area, push L to capture all your paved areas, then we will simply go and uncheck this box. Now our material has been made into a shaded version as you can see here. We still have the town hall to do. We'll do the same thing with town hall. We'll uncheck that box 
and actually you have to leave it checked on and we'll open it up and then we will go to our CAD hash patterns and we'll select the uh, town hall from here as well. Now our border is also done. The roof of the house, my suggestion with the roof of a house is to make it just plain white. There you have it. Now you have everything in light uh, CAD-like format that allows you to print more economically and also have something that's a little more legible, especially as a working document out in the field.